What's up you guys, my name is Alfonso, welcome back to my channel. So one of my most popular videos is my Mexican candy video. People liked it. I don't know why, but they did. So I thought, why not <laughs> try and repeat it. Okay, so I've been craving Mexican candy, but I'm too lazy to go to the store, so I ordered some from Amazon. I saw some people buying like mystery boxes, so I thought, you know what, it would be a good idea to buy a mystery box, Mexican candies is next. So that's what I did, I went to Amazon.com, ordered it, and it's here. My mother decided to open it because una chismosa, and she couldn't keep her hands off of it. Now it's open, so we're going to find out what is in this mystery box full of Mexican snacks and candies. I hope they're some of my favorite. I really have no idea. This is not sponsored. They didn't send me this for free. I just bought it because I felt like buying some Mexican candy, and I just I was too lazy to go to the store, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is a loteria. It's called La Loteria and it's just a, a what are these called? Like a table, dinner table game? I don't know. I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. Esta bola de chismosos, they just wanna be in your way all day. So what you need for this game is pretty basic. You just need the, the, the game, the, the cards, and the beans. It's, Basically like bingo. They'll call out a card from this deck of cards and you know they match the, the, the cards on this on this uh, uh, board or whatever it is. And um, you can either fill them one by one or you can have it all filled out and then remove it if you get the card or put it put one in if you get the card. So it's pretty simple. And then if you get all of them you win. It, it's it's not like one row and you win or like, you know, no. You have to get the whole the whole thing. So there's a lot of different, uh, you know, cards and they're all arranged differently. Some have some um, pictures that the other ones don't have. So, you know, everybody I think who plays this has their favorite card. I think this is my favorite card. You just shuffle the cards. I suck at this. <laughs> have the other opponent split it. Good. Now, La Dama. Next one is the devil, so the bell. All this is in Spanish. I'm just try, translating it for you guys into English. La Calavera, La Rosa, El Alacrán, La Bandera, La Sirena. Oh my God, I don't have anything. La Botella, El Mundo. Are you winning? Yeah. Oh my I God. Know. I don't have anything. El Valiente. Are you kidding me? El Gallo. Oh my God, did you win? Yeah. Oh my God, he won already. And I have still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's how you play La Loteria. That's the gist of it. Mucho, mucho box, Mexican snacks, and more. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, I just had a sneak peek. And I'm already loving it. Just in case you didn't know, Mexico is amazing. And ta-da! Oh my god, I love, I love this so much candy. <laughs> the Mexican flag. These are so good. I've always considered this a Mexican snack, even though they're Japanese style peanuts. I've had them since I was a little kid. So I just, I thought they were a Mexican snack. And apparently they are because they're in my Mexican snack box. But I don't like them just like this. First, some scissors to cut it open. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Can you see the, the bite marks on, on the scissors? Everything in this house has basically um, bite marks on it. You have the bag of Japanese nuts. You add some green Mexican lime, just a little bit. We're gonna add some more in a little bit. Some hot sauce, I'm adding Cholula hot sauce, but you can add whichever type of hot sauce you feel like adding. Just the important thing is that you add hot sauce. Then you squeeze more lime into it. Shake it. And there you go. This is the best way to eat Mexican um, or <laughs> Japanese style nuts. Mm, that's so good. It's so yummy. Okay, well, let's see what else we have. Since I already did like a lot of the spicy candy in my um, Mexican candy video, I think for this one, I'm just gonna focus on types of candy that maybe you haven't seen yet. Cause not everything is spicy. For example, I love these. So this is called the semaforo and <laughs> Semaphore means stoplight because, you know, green, yellow, red. This is fucking delicious. These are obleas. This is a milk candy wafer. It's not spicy, it's sugary and sweet. And these are my mom's favorite. Peanut brittle. I thought this was like a Mexican thing, but I guess you guys have it here as well. And yeah, it's just caramelized peanut. I think I showed this one in my last one, but this is mazapan. Peanut candy marzipan style. Dulce de cacahuate estilo mazapan. Oh my god! Pretty sure this is new because it's not the one that I'm used to 
seeing. I didn't even know that they had this, but it's pulparindo mango flavor. Oh my god, I didn't know they had a mango flavor pulparindo, so guess what? Fuck the diet. I'm gonna try this. Yep. It's delicious. <laughs> and they gave me two. <laughs> I haven't had these in years. So this is called a bubalo candy. It's a gum. It's filled with flavored jelly or syrup. This one is uh, strawberry flavor and my mouth is watering already. The strawberry one is my favorite. Can you hear the saliva? Like I'm salivating so much. And I love these when I thought, oh. Like as soon as you bite into it, all that strawberry syrup just bursts out. These are peanuts, but they're covered in a hard red candy. I don't know what it is and it doesn't have any like information on the packaging. So I don't know what it is in English. I don't even know what it is in Spanish. And it's really good. I'm gonna save my gum. I don't think I showed you this one in my last video, but it is called Bocadín and it's just wafers covered in chocolate and it's really good. Oh my god, is this the packaging for that thing that I, th I think it is? Oh, I think I know what it is now. It's a straw, a yellow straw covered in tamarind pulp candy. Sometimes they put them in like a, in, in Mexican smoothies or, or whatever and then you can like take it out of the smoothie or the mangonada or whatever they call it here. Good, spicy, tamarindy. You know what? I never sat down to think about it, but we use tamarind like a lot in a lot of our candies. This is like a Mexican candy mukbang, okay? Because I'm here eating all this candy, which is just gonna bring back all the shit that I worked off yesterday. This is a classic, classic Mexican candy. It's just a roll of coconut. Rollo de, de coco. I'm gonna take a bite out of it. Have you noticed that's what mukbangs are? Like people just take a, they buy a whole bunch of shit and just take a bite of one thing, of each thing, I mean. I guess if you don't like coconut, you wouldn't like this, but it's really good. Chamoy. <laughs> this is chamoy in a bag. That's so funny. I've never seen this. Chamoy is when you put it in a mangonada or any other Mexican, like, sometimes they'll put it, they'll put it in your cups of fruit. Ew. Even I don't think this would taste good. I'm gonna try it. Camarones a la diabla. Lollipop. It's shrimp flavor with cucumbers and chili and lime. That's good. That tastes really good. But this, I don't know if this will taste good. It tastes good. I can taste the cucumber. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is one of my favorite candies. I have a lot of favorites. They're kind of like jelly, but it's real mango and chili powder. Yep. Delicioso. Okay, this is called Ricaleta La Paleta Masa Rosa del Planeta. But I don't know what it is. Guess there's one way to find out. <gasps> I forgot these even existed. Oh my god. I'm five years old again. Ugh. I literally haven't had this since I was in Mexico. Oh my god, this is so good. So, it's chili powder covered with caramelized sugar. Caramelized sugar? Is that what it's called? I don't know, it doesn't have a description there. But you can see it yourself. That's all caramelized sugar. And there's chili, I don't know if you can see like the little chili powder thingies in the middle. I haven't had these in maybe 15 years. I forgot these even existed. Oh, oh my god! I forgot about these too! So this is a lollipop uh, in a bag. There's uh, also chili powder in there and you know you like stick out the, lollip the lollipop and you put it in there. It's really good. This is my second favorite uh, hard candy. Like <laughs> it's milk chocolate. Kind of like a Tootsie Roll, but 20 times better. And there's another one that tastes even better than this one. And it's like in the shape of a circle, and it has like a white spiral in the center. I don't know if you guys know that one. I've never seen these. Takis Cobra. Here in the United States, there's not a lot of variety. Fried corn snack with chili and artificial Worcestershire sauce. These are right, I guess. The purple ones are still my favorite. Well, that's pretty much all I have time for. Uh, I think we covered 
pr for the most part everything, some stuff I didn't show you because I think I've had already shown you in um, my Mexican candy video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. While I'm enjoying this lollipop, comment down below if you had these before. Have you subscribed yet? Have you liked the video yet? Have you commented yet? Alright, bye. <laughs>